Hey guys, welcome to the workshed. It's Colin. Today we are doing some stripping. Yes, not the kind of stripping you're thinking of. We're stripping some paint today. Uh, what I've got here is a Captain America shield that I had put down some silver on and uh, I was doing the blue and something went wrong with the paint. Uh, it was cold out and everything started to go foggy on me, which is no fun as far as modeling goes. Everybody knows that. But uh, so here I've got the shield. It's been sitting here in some simple green now for about a week. Uh, you really only need to put it in for 24 hours or so, but you can see the paint is already wrinkled up really, really good on this part, which means it should come off quite easily at this point. Um, so uh, yeah, simple green, you can find it in most places. Uh, I got mine at Canadian Tire. Um, it's, uh, I got the Simple Green Max because I thought it might work a little stronger than the regular Simple Green, which you find in your in your uh, regular the, the regular Simple Green you'll find in your home care, you know, your home cleaning area. Uh, this I found in the automotive area next to the uh, the Super Clean. Uh, Super Clean uh, will do the job faster. It's got harsher chemicals. Uh, this one is non-toxic. This is uh, that's the bonus of this one. It takes a little longer. Um, you might have to scrub a little harder, but it's non-toxic. So me having a cat. Here's my cat. Here's Marty right there. Uh, wanting to keep her safe because she likes to hang out with me when I'm doing all my work and stuff. So uh, the less toxic, the better. Anyway, so uh, let me set up the camera here on the tripod and we'll uh, do some scrubbing to see just how hard or how easy this comes off but as you can see I mean the paints already wrinkled up like amazingly so that uh, that should just almost fall right off <clears throat> all right so hold on I'll be right back okay so here we are got my little brush a lot of guys use a toothbrush I didn't have a spare toothbrush on hand so I decided to go with this little nail brush uh, it'll work just as fine I'm sure and here we go oh my goodness look at this I am just going to actually just look at this. Like I said, it's just peeling. It's just peeling right off. Look at that. All the way right down, all the way right down to the surface of the paint. Look at that. It's just coming off. I'm not even brushing. I'm not even brushing at this point. Look at that. It's just coming right off. Just peeling like nobody's business. And I'm getting it right down, right down, look at that. I'll do a little scrub here. What I didn't get, <laughs> what I forgot to bring out, was a nice thing of clear water. I'll go get that in a minute. As you can see, I'm just, just scrubbing it ever so slightly. And yes, when you're doing this, cover everything because these bristles will make everything splatter. You don't want to get paint all over everything that you're working around, obviously. So yeah, <clears throat> hence all the paper towels you're seeing. A little dip. Oh yeah, that's all coming right off. That's all coming right off. See that? I mean, that's that's got almost no paint on it right now, at all, including the factory paint. It, this will take the factory paint off, and it won't harm the plastic.
You can see like, all the paint has come right off of there. I'm getting some. See, I mean, all that's on there is that star, and that star has been trouble from the beginning. Um, but you can see all the details are still there. The little tiny, the little tiny bips on the star, the corners, the points of the stars. There's the little, uh, the little rivet details. Those are all still there. They're all. It's like. There's absolutely no problem whatsoever with preserving the details. You can see absolutely no damage, no damage to the part at all. Um, and like I said, that takes care of factory paint. That takes care of you know any paint job you may have done. Uh, getting the primer off has actually been a lot easier this time. I just want to see if I can take all the stuff off of that star because that's just one thing that. I've wanted to get off there from the beginning. But there's just some slight ghosting from the primer going on in here right now. got a very demanding cat begging for something right now so I am going to just take a short little pause for the cause and uh, I'll be back with some clear water all right I'm back I've got my clean water and the cat taken care of just give this a little dip here and here you go you can see there's the part pretty well cleaned I still got a little bit on there and just a touch just a touch on the star still but as you can see that's taken the paint completely off and again a little rivets along the edge of the star are all there Sorry, that's a hair that's not a scratch there's a hair and some uh, some mold lines from when it was cast originally but yeah you see all the detail is, is, is very well preserved all the little rivets on the back here everything all the details are fine. There's uh, there's no damage that way at all. So there we go, stripping. That's uh, that's one way to do it. Well, thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. This is Colin saying, see you next time.